Hi, my name is Riaz Datu, and in today's video, we're gonna focus on how we are able to create the best quality 3D crystal. If you're a customer looking to spend your hard-earned money, you'll definitely wanna watch this. And if you're a wholesaling member utilizing us to manufacture crystals for your customer, you'll find this very interesting as well. Now, there are three things that go into creating a good quality 3D crystal. The first is calibrating laser power. So we ensure that our laser is tweaked and calibrated every morning for the perfect power. If you're a laser operator, you'll definitely want to watch our YouTube video on how to calibrate your laser. The second thing, or the second factor that goes into a good quality 3D crystal is optimization of a photo. Now you know you're sending us photos from Facebook, from cell phones, old photos perhaps. Every photo has different lighting on it, different contrasts. So optimizing that photo is critical to ensuring that the laser interprets that photo and creates the best quality 3D crystal. To understand how to do that, if you're a laser operator, you'll want to watch our video on how to optimize a photo. Now the third thing that makes us different is the way in which we assort our points. It's called point assortment. And this is really key. It's done by a software we created called Cockpit 3D. It's a software that we actually offer to laser operators. Uh, so if you're a laser operator, you'll want to read about that. But let me explain how our software enables us to create high definition crystals. We'll start off with the science behind how a laser works. Now, what's happening is that light is a property that's capable to penetrate a transparent material without damaging the surface. So in this case, we have an LED light. It's going through a solid crystal. And if you look at the palm of my hand there, that light has traveled through that solid piece and is reflecting off of the bottom of my hand. So utilizing the same principle, what we do is employ a laser. Now I say a laser because it is one laser. Most people think it's actually multiple lasers. However, a laser, if you zoom in to the nano level, relatively can be quite thick. And within the laser, there's multiple, call it infinite, laser or ray beams. If you think about a piece of string, just to simplify this, a string is quite thin, a piece of thread is quite thin, but when you zoom in, relatively, it could look thick, and you could actually cut that piece of string or that piece of thread into two pieces and then into four pieces. So similarly, what we're doing with the laser is we're sending the laser beam through a lens, and all these ray beams are going through the lens, and the lens is causing it to converge nice and tight together. And there's our crystal. So what happens is that there's a point programmatically defined on the X, Y, Z axis where the laser will converge and strike and have enough energy or heat to create a small little micro fracture or a crack. Millions of these points later generates the perception of your 3D image inside the crystal. Now, how are we different? How does this process differentiate when we're creating your 3D crystal? So like I told you earlier, we utilize our own software called Cockpit 3D. Every laser will create a strike point that is different. Some lasers will create large circles, others will be a little more elliptical, and others will be even small circles or small elliptical shapes. If you think back to the dot matrix printer, if we had large dots, and let's assume I was just going to print the letter A, for example, that would be considered low resolution. However, if we have many, many small points, it starts to look more like a line. And if you compare the two, this here would be considered high resolution. Every laser machine will output a different shape of a dot and therefore it is cockpit 3D and the software that is essential in bringing those points together nice and tight no matter what the shape to create that HD appearance and that HD output. Now, it's all great that I'm explaining the science and how it works. Let me allow you to see the product and I'll let the product itself do the talking.
So when you look at this crystal, it looks great. We sent a photo to a competitor, they produced a 3D crystal and sent it back to us. It has that 3D effect, looks nice and sharp when you first look at it. However, when you compare it to what we created in-house utilizing Cockpit 3D and tightening the point assortment, all of a sudden you see the difference. So it's one thing to say you're making a good 3D crystal, it's another to understand the science and actually be creating the best 3D crystal. Those three factors, optimization of your laser power, optimization of the photo, and of course utilizing Cockpit 3D to optimize your point assortment. Now if you like this video, be sure to subscribe, share, like, give me a thumbs up and encourage me to create a few more. Thanks for watching.